so one time I take a 911 call and it's coming from a landline, which means, uh, first of all, it's just scary for that because it's very uh, unusual. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, the cool thing is, is I know exactly where it's coming from. I don't have an area of uncertainty or I don't have to check prior records. I know what's going to this house. Well, this house just is like right outside of city limits. Like the line is like between his house and the next one. So it technically is a call for a county deputy, but I don't have one close. The city cops close by doesn't seem like a big deal. 911 open line, 911 calls, and I hear static, that ASMR sound that some people love so much. And I can kind of hear uh, something. So I, I can tell the phone's off the hook. When I talk for a little bit, 911, where's your emergency? Can you hear me? I even do the whole, like, if you if you can hear me and you can't respond, you know, mash the keypad or something. I'm thinking maybe they have a dial tone or, or do something so that, you know, so I know you're in danger. Like we actually have communication established here. Well, uh, I don't get anything. And uh, so uh, I hang up and I, I call back because I'm like, well, maybe, you know, the phone got knocked over or something or, you know, this is just what you normally do is you return the call anyway. So I call back and it rings twice and then it picks up. And I hear just more of this kind of staticky sounds and I can tell that like you can hear the sound of like an empty room. You know, when you walk into a room and it doesn't have furniture in it, it has yeah, this open exactly. space sound. Yeah. 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 So I could tell I could tell that I'm someone's there and they've they've answered the phone, but they're not saying anything. I'm like, all right, I got to def- for sure. I got to send the cop. I send the, the police officer out in this little town. I say, hey, this is just outside your jurisdiction. But do you mind just swinging by just to see if there's a problem there? Ten four. I can do that. My phone rings. It's this guy uh, who runs the tow truck in this little town. He listens to the radio because if there's an accident, he wants to put down his tools and go grab his stuff. So he says, hey, I, uh, I was listening to the scanner and I heard you send uh, the police officer out to that house. And I'm like, yeah, sure did. He goes, well, that house belongs to a guy named Dwayne. I'm like, I know that, you know, I, I looked up the geographic information service and know it's Dwayne's house. He goes, well, Dwayne passed away a few years ago. I'm like, okay, that's weird. And and his his wife's in an insane asylum because she's got dementia. So she's in a she's in an insane asylum. There shouldn't be anybody in the house. The house is all tied up in probate because she's insane and he's dead and the kids are fighting over it. But there could be a caretaker there. I'm like, ah, the caretaker's calling me. You know, you got Jack Jack Torrance out there calling me from from the house. You know, he's got he's shining a little bit. So send the cop out there and what he reports to me later is this he gets out there finds the place all overgrown the grass is all long all the doors all the windows are all boarded up he tries to see inside there's no signs of occupancy whatsoever he doesn't have probable cause to go in there i i call back he can't hear the phone ringing uh so he eventually just has to be like well you know just i don't know uh i'm unable to resolve this case and I'm 10 8. It doesn't seem to be anybody in danger. And I, I have no, I have nothing that gives me police power to enter this address. So I call him on the phone. We kind of shoot the shit. And then he leaves. And I call the number again. And it answers. And, I, and I'm on the phone. I'm like, and I can hear that static he's had. I'm like, Dwayne, can you hear me? And I just listen. And I just hear that crackling sound. So I hang up and uh, call the police officer and say, you know, that was that was weird. And uh, and uh, I, I guess uh, he's driving through town later. He calls me back and says, hey, you remember that storm we had last night? I'm like, yeah, we had high winds. We had a bunch of power lines down. We had to send out the fire department for sparking lines. He says, there's this old, old telephone line. It's down in the cemetery. It fell down over Dwayne's grave. <laughs> and there's a receiver buried halfway through. That's the end of the story. I could oh, say that... like, oh, he also worked for the telephone company. <laughs> and actually, the part about the the phone line down being over his grave is is made up. That's from, that's <laughs> that's, from the, but that's that's the from the Twilight Zone. Part.